By preparing before an incident, you can save time and lives when called upon. In this program, you've seen the basics of handling contaminated victims. You have seen how victims become contaminated. You've seen symptoms of exposure to certain chemicals. You've seen pre-decontamination procedures. You have observed demonstrations of how to properly decontaminate both ambulatory and non-ambulatory victims. And you have seen post-decontamination procedures. Every day, millions of pounds of hazardous materials are produced, transported, and used throughout the world. The probability that someone somewhere will become a victim of exposure to these chemicals is extremely high. Victims of exposure to hazardous materials can become a hazard themselves if they are not properly handled at the scene. Your proper decontamination, packaging and transport of contaminated victims means that victims will have fewer effects from chemical exposure. Response personnel will be protected from secondary contamination and medical service facilities will remain clean and in service.